so god could not give gabriel and michael and all of these people and so he looked at the perfect one the sinless one and said you are the only one that can go as an exchange for what i desire please listen to me the same principle satan wanted to use for jesus christ he took jesus to the mountain and he said bow to me in other words let me give you wealth and exchange it with your loyalty for me are you getting my point just bow to me since you are the expression of the godhead bow to me so that the father will see you bowing to me and i can give you wealth so when a man goes to meet a herbalist it tells him what are you going to give me in exchange please listen i will tell you this is the reason why many territories are powerful this is why some of the terrorisms you see in nigeria are powerful they always give something in exchange for the authority to invade a territory that's why they do it military might irrespective are you getting my point when you come to god and say lord i want you to use me god says what is the exchange for it and he said lord take my life have you had that scripture that says what shall it profit a man if he does what and what loses his soul that means he said satan let's do business and satan said of course i'm a good businessman i will give you my soul give me the world so that anywhere i do business whether in italy whether in dubai let it work so that i must be the governor of this state or i must be this take my soul so that i will be the reigning musician and nobody can stop me and he says all right let's have the deal and he says take my soul they have received the mark of the beast that's the 666 there it's not something that will be put on their hand they have given their soul they have received the mark are you getting my point so satan comes to you what do you want to give in exchange please listen something must be given in exchange if you must walk in true dominion everybody knows this it's not a herbal strategy it's a spiritual strategy i'm walking in the anointing i'm walking in by the grace of god because i received this of grace but something went for it my life my will my ambitions my desires they were laid down that's why i wrote that song take all of me all of me you have my everything that's my deal with god you have my everything are you getting me so my entire life will give him glory the day i compromise on my own part of the deal his mercy will show up but if i walk in rebellion i have broken the deal that's the reason why a man can give an exchange he will say i will give you my firstborn only give me this political position when the firstborn is now born the people come and say oh yeah oh, we gave you the power we gave you the wife where is our firstborn and you say sorry i didn't realize that children are this nice i've changed my mind they say you've changed your mind we will see all of a sudden the child starts getting sick they must collect their child except the power of god intervenes this is the reason why many families are suffering people covenanted families in exchange for money kings covenanted their territories are you hearing what i'm saying they gave it in exchange for protection they gave it there are families that gave in exchange their fertility so no children can happen in that family there are families that traded boys they said there shall be no men take give us might what men would have done let the women in our family do but take all the men and you find out that no matter how people try they will never give birth to men they give birth to men they will die no matter what happens you just hear that he was taking fresh air outside a bike came and carried him are you hearing what i'm saying exchange see these laws are not old testament laws they are spiritual laws they are still working today here and now are you hearing what i'm saying 
this is the law that terrorists use before they ever carry an assignment they must take out time are you seeing the reason why every time they shed blood people become richer think about it the moment blood is shed somebody makes money exchange 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 are you seeing the reason why the sacrifice of solomon touched the lord he offered a thousand bond offerings it was an expression of his heart god could not stop he came down many of us may never walk in dominion because you are not ready to exchange your life for his life you are not ready to exchange your strength for his strength but tonight how many people are ready to say lord take everything if this is the price for your grace and your glory don't let anybody fool you and say there's no price you go to a harbor list and see if he will just give you power like that look at me there are men who sacrifice their wives for wealth true or false some christians right there are pastors who sacrifice their children for church growth there are pastors who sacrifice their members for expansion I've said it again and again nothing just happens the day jesus will come we have a long wall film to watch that's when we will know that most of the things we call coincidences were not coincidences hallelujah listen let me tell you something i will never forget one time i was praying in the night years ago and i prayed and i was dedicating my body unto god I stripped myself the way my mother gave birth to me and I lay down on the floor I said Lord let this body become a superconductor of your anointing if there is anything you can do to this mortal body let it carry your power this body cannot be used for sin and hell it, it I dedicate it unto you and God said this is what you are giving me I will put my glory upon your life and somebody just comes and says, God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And the, Lord, the demons are just looking and say, look at all these ignorant people. These are the negotiations that many scientists did with aliens. Are you getting me? Many intelligent people. They said, give us, give us technology. Give us the wisdom you used and gave the pharaohs of old. Give us and let us do supernatural things in exchange. We will give you the souls of men we will give you mankind we will give you a lot of things and it's happening here in the earth that's why you can see a man sitting down all of a sudden within two weeks this man becomes a mysterious millionaire either god has done something to him or the devil has done something there was an exchange somewhere a man of god is sitting down and all of a sudden power comes upon his life he begins to do supernatural things i tell you there is an exchange he has either gone to the throne of grace to exchange his life and say lord take it take my life and use me for your glory or he has gone to a herbalist and say take my firstborn or every two two years kill 10 members from my church as a sacrifice and let the anointing keep rising The life that I now live, Paul told us the secret of his anointing. He said, the life that I now live, I live by the faith of God. I surrender all to you. Everything I give. I'm teaching you spiritual laws withholding nothing withholding nothing listen you can copy a man if you have not laid down what that man laid down you will never carry what he carries are you hearing what i'm saying you can copy the way he talks you can wear suits like him if you cannot lay down and exchange what that man exchanged in the secret place you will never that's why you can listen to a message that may not be so powerful by a man of god but tremendous grace follows it 
because there is a fraternity with God that's why you can see a herbalist he can make people millionaires but he lives in a coven it was the exchange for the power he can make people billionaires but he will never stay in a big house he will never wear good clothes he will wear rags Papa Deboe, I shared it last week he's made it a vow and a culture that everywhere he goes he will get down on his knees that was his exchange for the kind of glory what are you exchanging let me tell you when you enter into the realm of the spirit you will see men who have exchanged things men who have given their souls to herbalists they want the same job you want they want the same business you want they are killing human beings and sacrificing it and you are just standing lukewarm there is no sacrifice there's no exchange and you believe in the labor market and compete with them there must be an exchange it is this exchange that will end sickness in your body is this exchange that can make angels come and cover your plane so that it will not crash it's not just about you you have exchanged something in the spirit he said i shall not die this is the exchange for living long i will live to declare there are some people that are unkillable it's not about confession i will leave you don't know what they have done in the secret place that's why god can kill a whole nation for the sake of that man jacob have i loved esau have i hated when laban laban did not know the exchange he didn't know what happened between the mother of jacob and esau laban wanted to cheat jacob that anointing came and animals started reproducing after the the the, the colors of jacob's animal and Laban said, ah, I testify that God has blessed me. Listen, when a man has made an exchange in the realm of the spirit, you touch him to your own detriment because there is an altar that speaks for him. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. Listen. This is why you can see certain people shout and say i can never be poor they say i can never die i've told you i remember when i packed everything that i had home and abroad i put it in one bag and i went to a prosperity convention my entire life belonging home and abroad aside from the current clothes that i was wearing it took a sacrifice to put your family in the covenant of poverty it will take an exchange to bring them out don't let any man fool you i dragged those things to the altar i sat down outside like the overflow like this i know we've taken time but what i'm sharing is somebody's deliverance tonight any powerful man you see from today let me tell you something there was an exchange is an irrefutable spiritual law either to god or to the devil crowd does not just come are you hearing me koinonia people are not just coming because they want to come there is a force there is the strength of sacrifice unto god a covenant of teaching truth it's a fraternity with god oh god bring the people and i will teach them truth bring the people and i will teach them no matter what it will cost me and god said the deal is done and a young pastor just gets up and believes that is by church growth principle you come posters everywhere knock from door to door and the realm of the spirit is saying do you not know there is a law my altar rise up on your feet is calling you oh god 